Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today coming to you guys again from Phuket on a beautiful place. I have a gimbal, so my camera should be a little bit less shaky. Um, I should be able to move it around and it should be tracking my face if I click uh, this button. Look, they are even horse riding here on the back. Beautiful here in Phuket. Um, I'm using my mic. And my mic is making my telephone a little bit uh, debalanced, so the balance is not perfect at the moment. Uh, but I need to use the mic because else you won't be hearing me too much wind. Today, talking about uh, some cool stuff, guys, over here. Um, let's talk about, for example, the Bitcoin price, 16,500. You know it's Friday. Uh, every Friday we will close this uh, CME, uh, and then we create a gap probably in the weekend. So it will be a volatile weekend. Uh, make sure that you know that on Sunday evening we will probably always go to the beautiful uh, closing of the Friday. So the level we close today that could be beautiful, the uh, level we open on Sunday evening European time, guys. Um, look, the people are really cool. They are doing a lot of uh, horse riding over here on the beach. In the morning, beautiful. Um, I'm filming with my uh, front camera, so the images are not as sharp as um, um, it should be, but let's sit here on this beautiful uh, rocking chair and have a small chat about the Bitcoin price. Let's see if that works. Oh, that works perfectly. Uh, I'm in perfectly in shape here, guys. Uh, children, parents, they're all horseback riding here on the beach. Beautiful beach. It's still quiet. There was a lot of bars over here, but they closed down a lot of bars because of, I don't know, governments. Uh, and that would be a beautiful moment to lead in uh, governments. Guys, if it comes to Bitcoin, you need to be aware that a lot of governments are trying to get grip on Bitcoin. And we have seen this now for a couple of years and it comes happening. Oh, look, the screen is going all the place. The mic is too heavy, I think, guys. I need to find out a solution for the mic. Um, but these governments try to get grip on Bitcoin. And how do these governments do that, guys? They just make everything difficult. They make it difficult for you to buy Bitcoin. They make it difficult for you to on and off ramp your Bitcoin. So that means buying Bitcoin with your bank account is difficult. Buying Bitcoins or selling Bitcoins and then receiving that money on your bank account is difficult. They make everything difficult because they want to have all those bitcoins now also in uh, japan they announced in 2023 they're going to test the japanese yen which means the digital bank's yen is going to go live in 2023 the yuan in china already was live for a year so all these asian countries are completely testing with central banks digital currencies now europe of course will follow and all the other western countries will also follow guys don't be fooled and don't think that they won't be using that technology of Bitcoin on blockchain for their own benefit. They will create a very centralized digital currency that you won't be able to use all over the world. They will be able to freeze it. They will be able to confiscate it. They will be able to do whatever they want with it. And that's now exactly the difference between Bitcoin. Again, again, this video that I made like two or three days ago, it is all about privacy. It's all about not being able to be confiscate your Bitcoins. It's all about being free to do and transact in any way you want with your Bitcoins. And that is why Bitcoin is way more better than a central bank's digital currency. It, a central bank's digital currency is even is the improvement of the fiat uh, system. It's the improvement of the banking system that they can use to enforce even more on you guys. So why would you trust that part of the industry? Don't do it. Go for Bitcoin. So that is very important to understand the difference, guys. Now, some other stuff I want to talk about. The family, we are in uh, Phuket, Thailand, as you know, uh, really enjoying our times over here. Uh, it's still a little bit quiet. The whole crypto community is on the moment in Koh Phangan. Uh, we didn't want to go to Koh Phangan this time because the kids were bored the last time we were there. Like the 15 and 15, uh, they want to have a little bit more um, interaction with other children and they also want to go party and everything so uh, we chose uh, the Bangtao beach area which is close to Patong 25 30 minutes drive so you can do parties over there in Bangtao they also have good restaurants and some parties so the kids are feeling um, good but they still need to get into the uh, vibe of here guys it's always uh, takes a week or two for the kids to adjust into a new situation um, at, at least for our kids um, and adjusting to Thailand is not that easy because the time difference and there is a complete different climate. So here the kids are really like warm. It's all the day warm. And yes, sometimes it rains and you might think it would be cold, but even the rain is warm. So the kids always need to get used to that and it will take a week or 10 days, mostly two weeks. guys. And then 
they are up and running. Yesterday they went to a beautiful bar to have a cocktail. They watched uh, football there together. Julie and Juna. Uh, Jessa doesn't do cocktails yet. Um, but that is how we uh, try to adjust again in this beautiful beer market to live a beautiful time here in Thailand. Because, you know, the prices here are amazingly um, low still for living. The houses are really expensive at the moment because it's high season. Christmas is upcoming. Uh, there's a lot of Russian people here because of the war. Uh, they want to stay somewhere a little bit more safe, like Thailand. Uh, so the housing, not that cheap. Uh, you can still find cheap spots, but not on the beach. Uh, but food and everything, it's like we ordered uh, five Asian dishes last night with some fresh food and some drinks. It was like 600 baht. That's 15 euros for the whole family uh, for an Asian meal. Yeah, you can also eat McDonald's and pizzas and beef steak and all that stuff. That's a little bit more expensive, but still, uh, but still cheaper than uh, Europe, I think. So it's a beautiful um, place to be spending a lot of time during a, a bear market or for the normal people during an inflationary market where life is only getting more expensive every day, uh, for, for example, the Netherlands or uh, Germany. So uh, you go here when you're flexible. Because we, again, say always, flexibility is the new stability. And that means that if you're flexible in working, flexible in capital, flexible in ownership, so don't own too much, have all your uh, capital liquid in a currency that you can take wherever you want, Bitcoin, uh, it will make life a little bit more easy to adjust to these economical situations all over the world. And for us, this economical situation is not that bad because we did good with our Bitcoins, but still, I don't want to spend too much Bitcoins in this bear market. I know there will be another huge bull market. And in a huge bull market, I want to multiply my uh, capital again and again and again. And that is how I make sure that I create generational wealth that will be able to work for me, for my kids and my kids' kids in the far, far future. So they need to have their capital working so that they can focus on what they like to do in life. And if that doing in life is um, helping in an orphanage or treating animals or being a kindergarten teacher or whatever they want, it doesn't matter. They need to have a capital working so that they don't need to focus on a job that they don't like to bring in the capital. And by doing so, guys, we try to create this new uh, generation of children that are not depending on governments anymore and that will choose to do stuff that is good for the world, not only for themselves. Because materialistic lifestyles, it's nice for some time, but at the end you're like, why the fuck did I buy a Lamborghini? Why did the fuck buy a big house? Why the fuck did I buy all that stuff? It didn't make me happy. The thing that made me happy was on the beach, spending some time with friends, or when I was helping that orphanage, or building that orphanage, or building that school. That is what made you happy. So we are trying to lead by example for our children so they understand where true happiness can be found. Now, that was everything for today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoyed my new gimbal. It's not a shaking image in minimum anymore. Um, I will find a solution for the mic because else it will keep balancing. Um, thank you for watching. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video, the beautiful views of Phuket here under the trees near the sea. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bang!